Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Night Hearts. I'm Natty, and this is my beautiful sister, Jenny. And we have a really fun episode for you guys today. It is our summer cocktail party. party. <laughs> it's our summer cocktail party. We just made that up. Um, today, I'm going to be making one of my most favorite beverages ever. You can make it into a mocktail if you don't want to add the alcoholic component of the drink, but it's actually my dad's um, famous margarita recipe, and it's really, really strong. It's like Braun Strowman strong. Oh, it so is. It is. Strong like that? Well, if you're going to slap me, you need to do it like this. Oh! Oh! So, okay, I have bruises still. I still have bruises. She is learning how to take a chop. Um, so, with that being said, oh. come, come follow me, and I'm going to show you how to make my dad's famous margarita, Anvil style. So, this is my dad's very famous margarita. It's called the Anvil Style Margarita. And it's really, really special to me because, of course, my dad invented it. It requires a few things. First and foremost, you need to have one can of Minute Maid Limeade. Pour the entire can in. Okay. This is exactly what my dad would do. Our dad. And... What else? And you're going to pour in your ice. We pour in about two to three cups of ice. You're going to add in two egg whites. And the reason why you add in egg whites is to make the margarita really fluffy. And I love a fluffy margarita, don't you? I do. Pour it in. Very frothy and fluffy. Frothy and fluffy. Okay, and so, depending on how much, Jenny, you don't need to drink the egg whites. Well, it's good for you, it's good in protein. Good protein, mm. but just wait, 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 my child. So, it depends on how much tequila you want in your margarita. Oh. I don't like a ton tequila. of tequila, so I add my tequila accordingly. I don't use a whole lot of tequila. Well, you say that, but I don't believe it. So, I just add my, I, I'm very sparing with the tequila. So, just very, very, very sparing. Yeah, yeah. So that's like what? One cup? One, well, two cups? It's a sprinkle. It's a sprinkle of Half tequila. Half a bottle? Guys. One no, bottle? Jenny, stop. That. Look at me. Oh. Wait, Jenny. <laughs> okay, guys. Everybody calm down. <laughs> I think you just added like a whole bottle of tequila. So now we're going to blend it. Blend it until your fingers bleed. Got it? Good. Jenny, Sorry. relax, Jenny. My mom is like getting really mad. So we have a taste tester. It's my husband, TJ Wilson, and I'm very crazy about him. So I want him to come over here and be our taste tester. Okay, before anybody does any taste testing. We have to add worms. And TJ is not gonna know that we're putting in a little worm from Mexico. Very cute little, real, real worms from Mexico. They only have like 10 calories a worm. But we're adding it into the bottom of the drink. TJ's no, 10 calories per package. Oh, so that means we'll taste like, one. Taste do a sample taste test. Jenny. So like a minuscule, like maybe one quarter of a calorie. Ooh. Well, TJ's not gonna know, mommy. Oh, oh, look at the French fries. They're so cute. So throw one in the bottom. Okay. This is not a margarita. It's not a Jim Neidhart Anvil style margarita without the worm on the bottom. The little french fry worms. Is okay, so cute? we put this one? No, Jenny, no. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so I'm one? pouring the drink. TJ! Do like a little warm potato chip. He's coming. TJ. Teach! Yep. If you're on a low calorie mm. diet, mm. this is good. Wait, I ate the worm. Okay. Sorry, there was a fly, a fly in the drink. <laughs> You guys eating bugs? <laughs> TJ, taste the margarita. <laughs> we are eating bugs. <laughs> the margarita tastes better than the bugs, probably. <laughs> That's why I married him, because he just does whatever I ask him to. You're not a bug. No! No! Stop! <laughs> Jenny, stop. stop. So that is how you make a night art style margarita, and you might even get a little worm in there. <laughs> Gotta love it. Mm. So talk to us about your drink. Okay, so I am doing a fun, flirty 
pink champagne cocktail with a little bit of cotton candy. Mm. Because it's fun and who doesn't love cotton candy? It's I know, I love cotton candy. That's the process, he's cotton candy. Mm. So, and also anybody can do it, it's super simple. So, you need a nice bottle of pink sparkling wine, champagne, Prosecco, whatever you have on hand. Whatever you but have on as hand. as long as it is pink. pink. So Show the one that we're pink using. Pink and sparkling. Because I love sparkles. I love infant glitters. I love we love bubbles. pink. We love Persian So cats. that's why our, we are using a really lovely pink sparkling wine from California, which is really nice. Um, one thing you want to make sure when you're opening a bottle of champagne, there's a lot of pressure underneath the cork. So pressure, pressure actually creates diamonds. It does. It hit the head if it hits one of us, it'll be fine. Ew, I was actually eating a worm. Well, there's only 10 calories in a package, so. I've worked. It's fine. So, okay, so I'm going to open up this lovely pink bottle of sparkling wine. And also, I'm going to add a little bit of raspberry puree you could also use strawberries something just to give it a little acidity and also a little, a little pop of color perfect and so this is your raspberry puree oh, ready one two there we go <laughs> all right so today you have to try this drink we're done so we're gonna add a little, so mm. I just have, I have some really nice raspberry juice, so if you don't mind. We're gonna give my mom this drink, hold on. Continue. So I'm adding a little bit of, like I said, you can use raspberry juice, strawberry juice, just a little hint at the bottom. It's almost like a Bellini, a peach Bellini. Did you get me in there? Oh. About a teaspoon is good. I like to use a squeeze bottle because it's, um, it, it makes the, glass a little cleaner. So. And the squeeze bottle is also very, um, not on, nope. on my head. Okay, well, it doesn't get on your I love that. So That's so good. And do you want to pour the champagne? So we are pouring the champagne. At an angle. So much fun. Oh, Ooh. look at that. Now that is fun. Okay, we're not done yet though. No. But I just needed a sample. Now, one of my favorite things, cotton candy. Mm. So I've made these really cute little cotton candy balls. They're so cute. It's cotton and candy. You can buy it anywhere. You can buy it at the grocery store. It's called Candy Floss Cotton Candy. You and are going to... You put a little bit on the side, like... Kind of like, a, like if you were gonna put a wedge of lemon on the side. Kind of like that, yes. And then a cute little swap. And we pick pink, because we love pink. We love pink. It's very girly, it's very fun. Again, we're celebrating the end of summer. And we're actually not gonna let summer be over. No, not yet. So let's try our drinks. Let's do a little toast. To summer being forever. If you want a cocktail or a mocktail, give it a shot. Here's a toast to champagne, caviar, Persian kittens, and Ferraris. And that is how you make a cocktail. These were delicious. Cheers. And mm. my mom is telling us to say thank you for liking, sharing, sharing sub commenting, commenting, and subscribing. And that is that is how Nightheart does a cocktail. We love you guys and we will see you back next week. Mwah. Are you wearing underwear? <laughs> oh, stop, Jason. <laughs>